are some really exciting, uh, big achievements uh, of this forum. Uh, we've been working in across six campaigns and actions, everything from uh, land to agroecology uh, to new public policy for food sovereignty to uh, resisting corporate power. We're really going to push forward this idea of uh, how to strengthen our territorial markets. So markets which, are, which work for us, uh, which work for small producers, small pastoralists, small fishers, uh, small farmers, um, and see how to connect them to consumers. The corporate capture of our alternative food systems means that we are making a big impact. It means that our alternative food systems really exist. It means that consumers know their producers. It means we're rebuilding community and we're rebuilding and relocalizing the economy. And we're here to defend that, to extend that, and to fight also for campaigns and legislation that will really help all of this to come together at a local, national, European and global level. Comenzamos en el taller la sesión hablando de los principales logros conseguidos desde 2011, desde Nieleni 2011 y destacábamos sobre todo el incremento que ha habido de grupos de consumo y la, la tendencia creciente que hay en Europa a expandir estas redes de consumo, de apoyo a, a productores, de venta directa, canales cortos de comercialización, que ha sido una tendencia increíble y la expansión ha sido muy significativa. Es uno de los principales logros desde 2011. Lo que había contribuido a una mayor visibilidad de, de este movimiento por, de apoyo a la agricultura, de apoyo a la agroecología y, y que había habido un incremento de la concienciación o digamos de la sensibilización entre los consumidores. The level of exchange and uh, debate and discussions that uh, happened here was at a very, very high level and it engaged peasants really at the core, at the center of the strategies, at the, at the center of the discussions. It, they were, um, I felt also a driving force for the direction of all these uh, five axes of the food sovereignty. We have very clear, clearly defined the uh, strategies and goals and we will um, use this space in the food sovereignty movement to push for more rights for peasants, for better access to markets for peasants, for uh, fair, fairer prices, for uh, better uh, policies, for um, all the aspects of production, and uh, for uh, more chances for young people to access land for barriers against land grabbing and so on. If peasants succeed within this movement, the movement succeeds. What happened here, uh, for me, like the useful things with, uh, was, uh, first of all, to see what's going on in other places. Uh, uh, in Europe, what are what are the challenges? What are the achievements of uh, other groups and uh, and initiatives on very different levels? And uh, uh, also um, exchanging experiences with uh, with people working on similar things. Particularly for the for the group from Poland, it was very important to to meet here and uh, use this opportunity to develop a network or. Uh, or some other kind of uh, collaboration uh, in the future. What do we have to do now? It's not one. We have to um, share what we have 
and we have to discuss what we have. So that the, that we can find those who are not reached by what we have. And to be more specific, I think we have a lot on, that, on various levels, but the least representative level is farmers, the small farmers, especially those who are not reached by the agroecology uh, concept, who are not reached by uh, seed saving practices, that are actually doing it. My name is uh, Brecht, I'm a, I'm a Belgian vegetable farmer. Um, I'm growing vegetables on one and a half hectares for about 320 people. Um, and uh, I have my farm very near to a city of about 100,000 inhabitants. If you can build um, li like ch change of food producers around the city that are dealing with um, the fresh foods, um, they can be your network because they are in touch with farmers further away. Me as a vegetable farmer, I have 320 persons I'm feeding with vegetables. That, that, that's, that's all on one hectare and a half. That means I have already a network of 320 people. It's there. But if I can open my network to colleague farmers further away, then they can benefit from what we are doing around the city. And I think that's a powerful movement. Alors je vais terminer en présentant les 30 euh, zones d'action sur lesquelles notre groupe s'est accordé de construire des euh, modèles de distribution euh, alternatifs pour la souveraineté alimentaire et le travail sur les politiques publiques et sur euh, tout ce qui est euh, cadre législatif encore une fois sensibiliser tout ce qui est grand public et aussi pour la construction des alliances arriver à construire notre mouvement de manière à euh, élargir, enfin, les producteurs sont évidemment au cœur de notre mouvement, mais il faut renforcer les alliances producteurs-consommateurs et il ne faut pas oublier ceux qui euh, sont intermédiaires euh, dans euh, toutes les chaînes euh, alimentaires qui ne sont pas en direct, c'est aussi très important. On a mentionné euh, les restaurateurs euh, à plusieurs reprises, euh, mais évidemment il y a aussi tout ce qui est euh, aspect logistique, euh, transport et transformation. Merci. C'è bisogno dell'unità di tutte le realtà e di tutti i soggetti che sono alternativi nel pensiero politico e nell'azione a questo sistema che ci sta condannando tutti quanti perché attraverso questa connettività di tutte le realtà e di tutti gli individui che operano in un certo modo si può effettivamente cambiare qualcosa. The Gionelli movement has to unite to a collective struggle against industrial food chain and for local markets for fair wages of peasants and agricultural workers. Je suis un paysan, je ne suis pas capable de payer moi-même et de donner un salaire digne à mes travailleuses. Queremos políticas públicas que apoyen al campesinado que brinden ingresos remunerativos, que controlen las transnacionales y que garanticen condiciones dignas para los trabajadores y trabajadoras asalariados. Il a bravé les hommes par l'agriculture. 
difficile. Il a bravé les hommes en ce, en ce moment très difficile dans l'agriculture, en travaillant la terre, en prouvant que la femme peut faire tout et c'est la femme qui doit tout contrôler. Donc c'est pour vous dire que Yérémie est synonyme d'abord de persévérance, d'engagement, de réussite. Et c'est ce que je vois. C'est ce qui doit être. Chacun de vous doit être Yérémie. Yérémie, non pas parce que vous êtes venu ici pour converger et pour la souveraineté alimentaire de Yérémie et l'Europe, mais après, chacun de vous doit se dire je suis Yérémie pour la réussite de cette session de convergence pour que vous puissiez, vous puissiez avoir, à partir de l'Europe, un vrai mouvement de souveraineté alimentaire.